hello everybody and what's up everybody uh welcome back to my youtube channel in case you're new here tap the subscribe button and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much uh, for your continued support now they have been transfer of judges and the key notable achievement or the key notable uh, transfer was the transfer of judge mugure Vande. okay uh, so that is the judge that has got a lot of attention during the recent transfers of judges. So Judge Mugore was transferred from Nairobi to Malindi. And um, this judge, uh, she's known uh, because of the famous decision to suspend the Finance Act of 2023. So she was the one behind the suspension of the Finance Act of 2023 and actually made the government unable to collect taxes when it was supposed to start collection of the taxes and according to some Kenya Kwanza powerful figures they estimate at the time the government lost like 4 billion every day uh, due to the delayed implementation of the finance act it was meant to collect more and save Kenya uh, from the from the downfall or from the expensive debt burden that Kenyans continue to grapple with every single day to offload the over 10 trillion debt uh, that is happening. So this appears to be the new strategy by government to be able to um, curtail the freedom of the judiciary because the judiciary in Kenya, if you know and you've been in Kenya for some time, is one of the key organs that has always come out for the people, even when the government is making some decisions or taking some actions. The judiciary is very, very keen on being independent and taking actions, even against the ruling regime. A flashback ago, when we had the presidency of uh, Uhuru Kenyatta, you can remember there was a vicious battle between the former Chief Justice David Kenani Maraga and the President then Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta because of the numerous court injunctions and court orders that the, the, the judiciary then led by Maraga gave to the government of Uhuru Kenyatta. And at some point Uhuru Kenyatta felt like you can just walk into the judiciary one afternoon and you get orders barring the government. In fact, there's even an introduction of another order known as the anticipatory order whereby if you anticipate the police want to come and arrest you, you can actually get an order barring police people, uh, men from arresting you. And I remember at the time the interior CS Fred Matiang was talking about it and was saying you can actually plan to commit a crime and get the anticipatory orders from the judges and uh, that is how you, the police will be barred from even arresting you know? uh, which is not correct uh, but there is provision for anticipatory order uh, in case you feel that you are unfairly targeted and you like to uh, get the orders not to be arrested so many people have actually questioned and criticized uh, this decision by the principal judge of the High Court, uh, Eric Ogola, who effected the transfers of the 13 judges. Two of these transferred judges, uh, guys, I also want you to realize that uh, why people think this is actually a political decision and not really something to do with um, uh, merit or what we could call normal transfers in the line of duty uh, because two of these judges uh, who were also transferred were among the judges uh, that is um, let me read you the names of these judges we have um, justice uh, who is this we have justice Hedwig yeah, Honorable Lady Justice Hedwig Umundi, and we have Justice Alem. Okay, so these two judges were, have also been transferred, and they are catching our attention or the attention of the public because these two judges were also involved in the decision against the 50 CSs. 
positions that were meant to reward uh, President William Ruto loyalists uh, who were appointed into government as assistant ministers and the court halted uh, their ascension into office and their uh, ability to start working uh, for the people of the Republic of Kenya. So these two judges um, declared the appointment of 50 CAS as unconstitutional and we can see they have also been transferred uh, to other courts of other jurisdictions. So guys I don't know I don't know what you feel about this story. Was it a coincidence that a judge who stopped the finance act was actually transferred to Malindi and that clearly means that when the court uh, if the, if these other cases are brought before her normally they are normally prosecuted at the Milimani law court. Uh, she'll not be able to hear them because she'll be malindi dealing with other issues and yeah Ahmed Nasir Abdullahi Kenya senior uh, counsel uh, was uh, litigated so many cases actually was very very perturbed by the decision of the government to transfer judges who had given decisions uh, against the will of the government. Abel Nasir Abdullahi claims that transfers are the most effective form of punishment and reward for judges in Kenya. Justice Dande was obviously transferred to Malindi as punishment for her decision in the finance bill. This will have a chilling effect on judicial independence in Kenya. Sad. Okay. So uh, Ahmed Nasir is uh, definitely uh, saddened by the decision to curtail the independence of the judiciary. Remember at a time when like Miguna Miguna was being um, taken out of the country, uh, was being deported from his motherland, it's only the judiciary that gave orders that Miguna Naguna should actually be in Kenya and is a bona fide Kenyan citizen and his passport should be given back and things like that. Because for the longest time, the judiciary has actually been very, very independent. And, and, and sometimes the members of the executive actually, you know, go against uh, the judiciary when they're in power, but when they leave power they are actually the first people to run to the judiciary for answers a clear example is the son of the former president Uru Kenyatta uh, recently his firearm was being taken away by government and he actually went to court and secured orders to ensure that his firearm is not taken away from him but previously when his father was in the uh, was in power he never had regard for the judiciary. You know, he once uh, once told them that, you know, you're bringing injunctions against government projects and things like that. Do you, where do you expect money for development comes from? You know, money is not does not come from trees. It comes from taxes levied against Kenyans, and once they pay these taxes, we are able to fund and do many things about. Uh, the judiciary, I mean, the judiciary and those of the country. Okay, so another case is people like um, Kioni and Morade who have been restated by the court today into the leadership of Jubilee. But when these people were in power, what did they do? They even slashed the budget of the uh, judiciary by almost half. I remember Maraga crying and saying that, you know. You people have even slashed our budget. We can barely move. We can barely operate. You know, he also talked about um, being denied uh, official uh, government vehicles, failing to be recognized at official government functions, and things like that. Being frustrated uh, when he wanted to see the then president, Uhuru Kenyatta. And all these things actually translate to the fact that. Uh, government uh, requires you to be compliant, total compliance, failure to which um, you suffer some consequences. So we're waiting to see if the independence of the judiciary will be shaken and um, if this was just a coincidence 
and um, if the judiciary will actually maintain its independence, which is one of the greatest blessings to Kenyans, uh, because that is where they run to when they need someone to listen to them. Notwithstanding, we also, we have also seen judges who have been exposed for corruption, like Justice Chitembo um, by Mike Sonko. And that is to mean the judiciary is also not perfect in as much as it is uh, it comes to the rescue of Kenyans and things like that. It's actually not a perfect institution. It's also an institution that requires a lot uh, for things to work out as they should work out. Thank you so much for watching this video. This has been your guy, Elijah Gashoro. Like, subscribe, comment, and share this content so that you get notified anytime I upload a new video. Adios.